Hello and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to set up a domain with your web server. We've already signed into cPanel and we'll go ahead and copy the shared IP address. And we'll be using this throughout the tutorial to create the required A records for our domain. So I've went ahead and logged in to Namecheap and this is who I have my domain through, so smallrock.xyz. If you have a domain through someone else, this is totally fine. It's all a very similar concept. All right, so because we are setting up our domain with Cloudflare, we're going to want to change our name servers to custom DNS. Now, if you can't find the name server section on your domain management panel, you should be able to contact the domain provider and they should be able to give you this information. All right, so let's move on to Cloudflare now and I've already signed in, but I'm going to add another site. So I'll add in my small rock.xyz, as you can see, it's already come up. Um, so we'll click add site. So it's now asking us to choose a plan. We'll be using the free plan and we'll click confirm plan. This is all totally free through Cloudflare. So we're now going to need to create our three A records. Now, as you can see here, if we go over here, there's a bunch of different DNS record types. However, we want just the single A. And for the first one, we'll name it www. And for the IPv4, we'll click paste. As if you previously remember, in our cPanel, we copied the uh, shared IP address and so that's where we got that from and automatic TTL is completely fine We'll click add record. So now we're going to add our two other ones for this one We'll put FTP again just paste in that same IP automatic and add record and For the third one we'll put at and for the IP paste it once more and click add record so now we have www FTP and we had the at, however, this automatically changes it to smallrock.xyz as it's the same thing. So now that we have all of these set up, we actually need to do one final step for our FTP record. And that's just simply changing this to DNS only. So now we can go ahead and click continue. And now it's asking us to change our name servers. So this is what we did previously on Namecheap. So this is a very simple process. All we have to do is click copy and paste it right here. Copy and paste this one right here. So we've done the uh, name server one and two. So we'll click the check mark. So now it says Cloudflare will automatically recheck your name servers. This may take up to 24 hours to process. So what we can do is click recheck now and as you can see, it's being uh, queued up to be rechecked. So this may take a little bit. Uh, however, they will email you once the site becomes active. Okay, so now we're back and we've got the message, great news, Cloudflare is now protecting your site. So now that we've completely finished everything, if we go to the domain that we've set up, as you can see, it says Pebblehost Tutorials. So we are now um, viewing the index page that I previously put in the web server and we can make any sort of changes to it and go to this domain and it will show here. That's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, make sure to join the Discord and open a ticket and we'd be happy to help you out with that there.